great savers but we millennials are unnecessary blame to be not so good at saving and investing but we beg to differ we know that you are very serious about your money and are always looking at ways to learn to grow your money and you've come to the right place in this video i'm going to discuss about quick ways or rules that you can apply to grow and start investing so do watch this video till the end because i'm discussing three of the top 10 rules that you can start doing right now hi there namaste this is akriti agarwal iyer and welcome to the next video of our series are you a money virgin in today's video i'm going to discuss about 10 rules of investing yes you apply these 10 rules right away and you know that you've crossed a big hurdle of money management for the purpose of convenience i have divided this video in three parts and in today's video i'm specifically going to focus on saving yes how to manage my cash flow my income and how to save more are you excited so let's get started rule number 1 it is about paying yourself first yes save before you spend what do we generally do we get our money each month and we go and spend it and after that whatever is left if any we save well this leads to erratic savings each month in fact some months we don't even have enough savings so we put a process in place which ensures that we have a fixed saving each month and this process is known as paying yourself first so what do we generally do we have a income we reduce our expenses and whatever is left is our savings but we reverse savings and expenses we save first this is known as paying yourself first because all your savings go towards your investments which is basically to complete all your goals and your aspirations to follow this entire procedure you can do is have two bank accounts one would be your income account in which your salary or income comes in and second one will be your investment account from which you invest or basically from your income account you transfer your savings each month to your second bank account called as investment account so the second bank account is also a savings bank account you just transfer a fixed percentage of your income each month in this bank account once you see this money leave your bank account you know that this is no longer available for you to spend you spend with whatever is left in your income account i'm sure you would be like i barely get through my month with my current income and i'm telling you to spend even less yes this is a tried and tested method because trust me guys budgeting doesn't work as much we start with all enthusiasm that this month i'm going to budget and everything but by the time the third or the fourth month you are really irritated with this but when you transfer this fixed savings out of your bank account whatever is left is for you to spend i have discussed a lot about this in detail and how to get started with your savings and investments in our course which is coming to you super super soon so check out the details of my course which is called namaste money in the description below So after understanding rule number 1 which is paying yourself first everyone has this question how much should i save what is that percentage of my income that i should save each month so your rule number 2 is how much should you save each month so basically if you are taking care of your everyday expenses you're paying rent you are financially responsible for other members of your family then you have more financial responsibility so clearly you would have more expenses in such a case you should try and save 30% of your income each month on the other side where you are living by yourself your parents are well settled and you don't really have to worry about them and other financial expenses each month then you should really try hard to aim higher and save 70% of your income each month so basically it's a function of how much financial responsibilities you have and then you can accordingly save either 30% or 70% of your income each month now these are just benchmark numbers which will give you an idea as to what is the savings that you must strive for 
इट मे हैपन दैट यू कैन सेव इवन मोर देन दिस और लेस देन दिस बट द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज टू गेट स्टार्टेड राइट अवे एंड गेट सेविंग सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस विद द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ आर कैरेक्टर्स अर्जुन एंड कबीर ना अर्जुन इज वेल सेटल्ड ही गॉट मैरिड ही हैज टू किड्स सो ही रियली हैज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ फाइनेंशियल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज सो फ्रॉम हिज इनकम ऑफ वन लैख रुपीज ईच मंथ ही स्ट्राइव्स टू सेव थर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज वेर एज कबीर इज स्टिल सिंगल जिन गेट मैरिड इन जॉइंट हिज लाइफ और नॉट ही इज सेविंग सेवेंटी थाउजेंड रुपीज ईच मंथ बिकॉज ही इज लिविंग विद हिज पेरेंट्स ही डजेंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट ट्रेंड लिविंग एक्सपेंसिस फूड एक्सेट्रा सो एज आई सेड योर रूल नंबर टू विच इज हाउ मच शुड यू सेव ईच मंथ is a function of how much responsibilities you have and what are the expenses you incur each month after discussing about paying yourself first and how much you should save each month one thing that creates a dent into your entire financial planning is your debt yes your loans so the third rule is about how much maximum emis you should pay each month one important thing to note is that just because the bank is giving you a loan does not mean you can afford it you must check for your own self based on your monthly income if that emi is something affordable if after paying the emi can you still go ahead with your monthly expenses and some savings for emergencies it shouldn't happen that 90 to 100% of your income goes towards emi and then you're swiping your cards and other things to manage your balance expenses So rule number 3 is about maximum EMIs. Firstly guys I would like to reiterate that you should not have any loans. The lesser the better. It's basically never spend any money before you've earned it. But if you go ahead and you still need to take a loan, ensure that the EMI must be as little as possible of your total income. So where your monthly EMIs are less than 30% of your total income It's a good situation it's a healthy financial situation you can generally manage your monthly expenses with the 70% of your total income where your emis are 50% of your total income you're just there and you know that you cannot afford to take any more loan if your emis are more than 50% of your total income you know that it's a huge red signal and you should try everything in your capacity to reduce your emis and start paying off your loans faster so how should your monthly income look like as per this maximum emi rule so well 50% of our monthly income goes towards our expenses you know rent electricity bill food shopping so many things are there so let's keep aside 50% for that 20% of your monthly income should be saved and invested well now what are we left with 30% of your income is your ideal emis to have because you are also saving and investing for any emergencies and future goals taking care of your monthly expenses and also having that loan so i'm sure this is a little difficult to get started with but this is a rule that you must follow so these are the three rules that will get you started and working on your investments rule number 1 is to pay yourself first Rule number 2 is to set your savings percentage use our benchmarks to get started with and rule number 3 is to not exceed your monthly emis more than 30% of your total income these are the ones which will make you look at your monthly income expenses and cash flows more um, conservatively but it will get you started and if you want to learn more about credit cards income expenses savings investments and all about welcoming money in your life then we are launching our money course namaste money very very soon in fact you may just hear from us about it in the next two weeks so if you are interested click on the link in the description below and drop your email ids in the waiting list because we are going to announce a super discount offer for all the people who are in the waiting list so get going right away thank you so much for listening to this video i'm sure you will get started right away next week i will share the next four rules of investing which will introduce you to investments and don't forget to like share and subscribe to our 
channel and we will keep coming to you every Wednesday and Saturday with freshly brewed content from Wealth Cafe. So after these three rules, I know you're going to save hard and next week I'm going to talk about investing smart. Happy investing!